Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make fake Post Malone vibrato using Auto-Tune and FL Studio. Let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is Auto-Tune, either the Artist version or Auto-Tune Pro. Those are going to be the versions that have this feature to make the vibrato. If $350 is a little too pricey, if you don't have Auto-Tune, I also have another video on how to do this with Waves Tune, about a tenth of the price and still sounds great. But today we're using Auto-Tune. I made this little beat and recorded some Post Malone style vocals over it. Check this out. And she told me that I'm not enough. And she left me with a broken heart. All right, so it's definitely pitchy. We can go in. I've got all my effects I want except for auto tune, so I'll load up an instance of auto tune artist. I'm going to have to change some settings right off the bat. Uh, input type to low male, key to F sharp major, and then we'll turn this retune speed to about six. You can kind of adjust that to taste depending on your vocal ability and the style you're going for. Then go into advanced up here, view advanced, and that's going to take you to the section where you can change this vibrato. Right where it says shape, you can change it from no vibrato to sine wave. Turn that rate up to about eight. Onset delay to about 745 and onset rate to about 350. For these numbers, the onset delay is how long it takes in a note for the vibrato to start kicking in. Because obviously for really short notes, you don't want vibrato. We're trying to get this on the tail end of long notes. So we have a little bit of a delay before it kicks in on a note. Onset rate is how long it takes to go from just a little bit of vibrato to the full effect. So it takes a while and then it's got a pretty quick slope up into full vibrato. That's kind of what we're saying with the onset delay and onset rate. Now, all of these things you can kind of change to taste, but I'm just going to show you what I use that works well for me. All right, go to pitch amount, hit about 40, amplitude about 20. All right, and now we should be good to go. Let's take a listen. Now there's too many thoughts going through my brain. And I'm taking each shot like it's no now you can hear there's no vibrato in those short little notes, but it's on that long drawn out note that we're getting some vibrato kicking in. That's exactly what we want. Now, if you can't really tell exactly what you're supposed to be hearing, maybe it's a little too subtle, turn up this pitch amount and turn it up to 100, then you can see exactly what this effect is doing. Now there's too many thoughts going through my brain And I'm taking each shot so you can see it's super accentuated sounds kind of bad um i would turn that pitch back down to about 40 but that's a good idea so you can adjust the rate the onset rate if you want the vibrato quicker or slower you can play around with all that to get the tone you want for the track you're making now if you have any questions let me know in the comments i appreciate you watching i'll catch you on the next one